Okay. So, we are at the problem 1, <coughs> finding the roots of the quadratic equation algorithm. So, the at last the core algo is only 3, 1 if condition, 2 if condition and an else. So, there is an before that there is an input, you, we read the input uh, A and B and C through scanf, then we, we need to check if A and B and C are non-zeros. If there is any, any of them are 0, we should say this is an invalid uh, input parameter. Then the core of all algorithm is uh, delta D is equal to B square V into B minus 4 AC. So, we could have three condition, that is it. One is if D is equal to 0, then the, as I explained here, we will we are going to have one root which is minus B by 2A. So, both the uh, roots R1 and R2 are uh, equal and print the uh, values of R1 and R2. Next one is else if T is greater than 0, it is uh, another simple condition. There are two real roots. The each of the root R1 and R2 is going to be minus B plus delta square root of delta by 2A and X2 or R2 is minus B minus minus of square root of delta by 2a. That is it. That is what is written here. And print is print all real and distinct. Uh, the roots are real and distinct and print r1 and r2. The else is there is no need to check anything because we already checked d is equal to 0, then d greater than uh, 0, then else is obviously d is less than 0. So, it is going to be a root is going to be complex which is going to have real and imaginary part. So, there is an r1 plus i and r1 minus i of r2. So, the real part r1 is as explained here is going to be minus b of 2a. It is going to be, so the uh, x1 or r1 is, has two part. The first part real part is minus b by 2a here then plus i of square root of d or on r here divided by 2a. So, you are going to represent the roots of uh, are going to be complex if d is less than 0 and print r1 which is a real plus i uh, of r2 into r2 r1 minus i into r2 end if. So, there we have two if conditions. So, there is going to end if and there is going to top end if and stop. So, this is an algorithm, but the code is this is the flow chart which is very close to algorithm. So, what we are doing is reading the coefficients a and b and c and if any of a or b or c is uh, 0, we terminate print as invalid or else we read d is equal to b into b minus 4, eight, 4 ac and r is square root of d. So, it is simple if d is greater than 0, then you can go into one condition or if d is less than 0 or if d is equal to 0. So, you could write it any other form you initialize R1 and R2 and print it and come out. So, this is the simple flow chart of the whole thing. So, uh, I just want to go through the code before I uh, use the turbo C. So, what I represented the whole thing, the program looks something like this. So, you are going to, we, we, we are going to include STDIO and math and uh, read these parameters and there is a condition if A is equal to 0 or B is equal to is equal to 0 or C is equal to is equal to 0, then we print as uh, the debug requires non-zero coefficient and return or else or else we discriminant is B into B minus 4 AC and absolute root is uh, square root of abs ABS of discriminant. So, uh, we just this is the 15 lines of code what uh, logic what we have if discriminant is equal to 0 the root are going to be the same if uh, if there is one e if is equal to 0 then there is greater than 0 and less than 0 that is it. So, let me quickly go to the problem part. So, as I explained, so <coughs> we uh, the STDIO include STDIO and STDIO math uh, dot h. So, the STDIO is needed 
if you are going to use any print or scanf or any of the standard IO inputs, the math is needed if you want to do square root or ABS functionality. So, this is our main function in which I am going to define three input variable as float A, float P, comma C and the output or the intermediate is saved part of a float of discriminant real part imaginary part and float of root 1 and root 2. So, here we are reading printf, we are reading the coefficients of the quadratic equation, there is a scan of, be careful if you have used float you have to use percentage f. Okay, This is absolutely mandatory. If you have used uh, float, you have to use percentage f and we are reading ampersand of a. So, we have to give the address to scan f so that it saves us. So, you have to be very careful. The scan f needs percentage f which is a float and you have to give and of a. That is very important. Many people miss this part. So, it is going to be AND of A, AND of B and uh, AND of C and if any of this is 0, we do not want to proceed. So, if, if we require non-zero coefficients, that is why we are returning here, then I am, the next one is computing of discriminant which is uh, B into B minus 4 AC and absolute root, this is more of a, uh, for square root of you, you have to be very careful here, square root of absolute, f abs of discriminant. Okay, So, because discriminant can be negative, that is why I am using an absolute here. So, for debug purpose, I am printing both discriminant and absolute root. Okay, So, you should also use as many printf as possible. If possible, please write as debug, so that uh, examiner would know or would not uh, worry much. So, we just have these 15 lines of code, that is it. So, most of the programming in C lab, the core algorithm is less than 15 lines of code. So, the, if the discriminant is 0, as I explained, root 1 and root 2 are same, which is minus b of 2 into a. And if discriminant is greater than 0, as I explained, minus b Plus, uh, root 1 is minus b plus square root of discriminant divided by dy. So, you should be very careful. I am using these braces so that this divided by 2a applies to the whole thing. So, that is why you should be very careful and always use these braces. The root 2 is minus b of square minus b minus square root of discriminant divided by 2a. So, here the the roots are real and distinct and we print this uh, root 1 and root 2. The third part is the else part. Obviously, we checked here discriminant is equal to 0, discriminant is greater than 0, then we know the left else is only discriminant is less than 0. So, here the real part is going to be just the minus b divided by 2a, just mind these braces. And imaginary part is square root of absolute, f abs of discriminant, because discriminant is a negative thing by 2a. So, 2 into a. So, the roots of uh, are going to be imaginary here. So, what you do is discriminant is negative. So, any value of square root of minus d can be represented as square root of minus 1 into square root of d. Square root of minus 1 is going to be the i. Right. So, that is why we, we are using the absolute because we are going to use i separately outside. So, while printing you just need to print root 1 is equal to uh, I am using uh, you could use just f or other good way is you can use percentage 8.2. So, the 8.2 is the 2 bits uh, would be the fractional part and 8 would bit out of 8 would, would be the the uh, the decimal part so this is what it is so this is the print and uh, you are done so the whole code which has an input part scan f then there is a check then there is a three condition one if is equal to zero if it is greater than zero else part that's it so i'm going to compile uh, here. 
So, this is already pre cleaned up, you may get some error and so the input is enter the coefficients of the quadratic equation. Okay. So, I would say 2, 4, 6. So, if this is the case, the discriminant is minus 32 and the roots are imaginary. Roots are going to be minus 1 plus i into 1.41 and minus 1 uh, in minus of i into 1.41. So, we could give different parameters to check what is the value. Okay. So, let me go back uh, to my problems here. So, just for you, so I have made some uh, sample uh, for each of these condition. Okay. So, for example, if it is equal to 3x square plus 5x plus 2, then the delta which is a going to be minus b square minus 4ac is going to be 1. So, it is going to be a real. If it is 3x square minus 6x, 3x square minus 6x plus 3 is going to delta is going to be 0 and which is going to give the same uh, uh, both the uh, both the roots going to be equal. Okay? And x square plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 will give an imaginary. So, just you can pause here, go back and uh, check the problem and see what you get. I am taking more time just for the problem one so that you get used to the all these things. So, um, I just compiled and run. Uh, the first one is A is equal to 3, B is equal to 6 and C is equal to 3. So, here the both the roots are going to be equal and root 1 is minus 1 and root 2 is going to be minus 1. So, the second one is a is going to be 1, 1x one square, 2x plus c is 5, which is going to give us a discriminant of minus 16 and the two roots are going to be minus 1 plus i into 2 and root 2 is minus 1 minus i into 2. So, that is it. So, the whole core algorithm is just 15 lines what I have explained. If you just write it and that is it.